guys, and welcome back to WorkUp Tutorials. In this video, we'll be going over using sections and tasks for your projects. Sections help to divide the project into objectives, milestones, or anything else you can think of. Create a section under the Tasks tab of the project with the button New Section. Edit the name by clicking over the title or delete it by clicking on the three dots parallel to the name. In each section, you can customize individual tasks according to what you want. To create a task, click on Task Name under the section. Automatically create a task with an associated drive file by clicking on the drive icon that appears and selecting the type of file you want. Edit a task by expanding it and make the change there. Delete it by clicking on the trash icon. There are various options you can use to customize a task to benefit you. Attach files, create deadlines, track the time it takes to complete tasks, add tags, subtasks, and comments, and assign specific members. Attach a file by expanding it. Locate the paperclip icon in the top right. The process is the same as if you were using the Files tab as shown in the previous video on projects. Create a new drive file after creating the task too by using the drive icon along the top. You can choose between slides, documents, and spreadsheets. Assign members in two ways. Locate the task, and to the right is the Add Member icon, or expand the task and the icon is at the top. Make tags to help keep you organized or for faster search filters. Use the Tag button at the top next to the clock icon. You can customize it by clicking on the tag again and changing the name or color. Under every task, subtasks can be made to break down what needs to be done more specifically. Click on the task and locate the Add Subtask icon at the top in the middle. Assign the dates for the task by, again, expanding it. You can set a due date by going through the clock icon at the top or under the Time and Dates section. Select a start date, due date, and even the hour you want it done by. Assign the dates for the task for repetitive use by expanding it again. You can set an expiration date by going to the clock icon at the top or under the time and date section. Select a start date, expiration date, and even the time you want it to complete. Dates are automatically integrated into the Google Project Calendar to help remind you and your entire team. The last things I want to go over in this video are using the time tracker and commenting on tasks. Expand the task and at the top is a play button icon. Use this to start and stop tracking the time. It will be saved under the comments section. You can always go back and delete it later. You can add comments under this section without using the time tracker as well. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video on using the work feed page. Check out the Help Center for more information or contact us with any question, concerns, or comments you may have. Bye.